true story. It's called New it's called Newlyweds 96 and 95. Asleep, my whole body smiles broadly, unconscious, but aware he rests near an unspoken comfort with a partner who shares my extant fingerprint. Companionship cushions old bones, Confronting time, my foggy vision guided by his headlight sight. His fumbling feet supported by my steady pace. His dulled hearing enlightened by my good ear. Yet ageless hearts thrive in common ground. We dance to music most don't remember, walk unfamiliar clay from kindred childhoods. Laugh in one breath without words exchanged. Our love cannot be stolen by mere facts, fallible limbs, unfaithful memory, nor by blunt events. Black, white bias, hungry airs, our hearts cannot be emptied. I was at a, uh, the last one I'll read is, uh, I was at a, um, a uh, an international uh, poetry conference and I happened to sit down at a, at a table where other poets were and it's, at lunchtime and it's called lunch encounter it's a short prose piece lunch encounter across from me a kurdish refugee now in dc eats pizza the cairo woman says she detects his slight american speech while she tries pancakes with a hot dog left of me a jamaican eats a vegetarian plate as he pitches his show food war at small colleges before his visa expires. Two New Yorkers, one Brooklyn and one Bronx, are picking at food, intent on conversation with the Egyptian who's showing cell phone pictures of her brother and his fiance, who is too good for him. Another vegetarian, a Filipino woman from California and her new Virginia friend join our table, sitting next to an African-American physician writer from Philadelphia who piles salt on his buffet choices. Between bites, the three anecdote segregation where each lives. I am raving about how wonderful the sauteed garlic spinach is, occasionally interjecting my personal experiences as a biracial child in the trio's diatribe, drifting in and out of each other's ordinary conversations. We shrink the globe to plate size. Thank you. <laughs>